Let's multiply four times 2,012. Actually, let's make it a little bit simpler. Let's multiply four times 201, just to, just to simplify things a little bit. So four times 201. So as we've seen in previous videos, I like to write the larger number on top. This is just one of many ways of tackling a calculation like this. I'll write the 201, and then I'll write the four right below it, and I'll write it right below the ones place. And so I have 201 times four. Now, just like we did when we were multiplying a one digit times a two digit, we do the, essentially the same process. We first multiply four times the one. Well, four times one, we know is equal to four. So we put a four right over there in the ones place. Then we can multiply our four times the digit that we have in the tens place. In this case, we have a zero in the tens place. So four times zero, well, that's just zero. 4 times 0 is 0. We put the 0 in the tens place right over here. And then last, we have 4 times 4 times this 2 right over here. And so 4 times 2 is equal to 8. And we put the 8 right over here. And we get our answer, 804. Now why did this work? Well, remember, when we multiplied 4 times 1, that was literally just 4. And we've got that 4 right over here. When we multiply four times zero, that's zero tens, so we got zero tens right over here. And when we multiplied four times two, this was actually a 200. It's in the hundreds place. So four times 200 is 800. So what we're essentially doing by writing it in the right places, we're saying four times 201, that's the same thing as four times 200, which is 800, plus four times zero tens, which is zero tens, plus four times one, which is four. So 800 plus zero plus four is 804.